Hi everyone and welcome to another Fusion 360 part modeling exercise. And today we'll be creating this gear model. So let's get started. Now on our drawing, we have three circles. So I'm going to hit C to grab my circle and selecting our XZ plane. Left click. I'm going to drop our center point at our origin. But first, I'm going to hit Escape and go to my units. Select Change Active Units. Unit type to be Inch and hit OK. Now going back to our circle, hitting C. Left click at the origin. Now the outer circle is 2.55. Hitting Enter. Hitting C once more. And the mid circle has a diameter of 2.04, so left click at the origin, typing 2.04, hitting enter, right click and select repeat center diameter circle, left click at the origin, and our inner circle to be 1.63, hitting enter. I'm going to left click and move our dimensions be neat and organized so I prefer this one here this one up and this one here so next we have a rectangular protrusion here I'm gonna zoom in and hit R and grab our two-point rectangle I'm gonna drop my first point here and second point here hitting escape I'm going to move this point and go to our coincident constraint. Left click. So select this one and select our circle. Hitting escape. Next, I'd like our midpoint to be vertically aligned with our origin. I'm going to hit S to grab our sketch toolbox and type PO. And grab our point tool. Now I'm going to drop our point at the midpoint of this horizontal line. Hitting escape and going to our constraints, selecting horizontal vertical. Selecting this point and our origin, aligning them vertically. Hitting escape and hitting D to grab our dimension, selecting this vertical line and this vertical line. Dropping my dimension here. Now we have a tolerance. I'm going to key in 0.23 instead. Hitting enter. Hitting escape. Zooming in. And I'm going to grab our trim tool. Hitting T. And I'm going to trim this horizontal line. So left click. And hitting escape. Next. The distance between this horizontal line. And this point here is 1.5. So I'm going to hit S once more and grab our point. Left click to select point and I'm going to drop our point at the circumference of this circle. So left click, hitting escape and going to constraints. Grabbing our horizontal vertical. Selecting our origin and our newly created point. Hitting escape and hitting D to grab our dimension. Selecting this horizontal line and our point. I'm going to drop our dimension here. I'm going to key in 1.5. Hitting enter. Next, I'm going to hit T once more and trim this one. Hitting escape. And moving our entities to check if it's fully constrained. So now I'm going to hit E to grab our extrude tool. So I have a profile selected. I'm going to hit X to deselect this one and select this profile. So left click and going to home view. I'm going to go to direction and change this one to symmetric. I'm going to grab our arrow up. Now for the value, the thickness is 0 0.32. 0 0.32 divided by 2. 
and hitting OK. I'm going to go to our timeline and double left click sketch 1 to go back to sketch mode. I'm going to hit R to grab our rectangle. First point here. So as you can see, 0.358 is currently highlighted. I'm going to hit tab. And based on our drawing, we have a tolerance. I prefer 0.24. Hitting enter. Next, I'm going to hit S and select our point tool. Selecting point, I'm going to drop our point at the midpoint of this line. Hitting escape and going to constraints. Selecting horizontal vertical, selecting our midpoint and our origin. Hitting escape, going to coincident. Selecting this endpoint and our circle. Selecting this point and this circle. Hitting escape. So we now have three profiles. I'm going to select this line and hit X to make this as a construction line and this one as well. Left click and hitting X and going to stop sketch. I'm going to go to our sketches folder, expand this one and turn on the visibility of sketch one. Going to home view and hitting E for extrude. Now selecting this profile, grabbing our arrow up. Operation to be joined. Now the direction, I'm going to change this one to symmetric and extends to be 2. Now left click this arrow and this face. This arrow and this face. Hitting OK. And turning off our sketch 1. Next, I'm going to hit S and type P-A-T-T to grab our circular pattern. Now the pattern type to be pattern features. For the object, I'm going to select our extrude 2. Going back to our dialog and selecting axis to activate this one. Selecting this axis. Now for the quantity. I'm going to type in 11, compute option, adjust, and hit OK. So model completed, and congratulations. And see you once more on the next Fusion 360 part modeling exercise. Thanks for watching.